Joe Keat here. Today I just wanted to give you some tips on how to do a single leg stance or a crane stance. Uh, a lot of times when I go to tournaments I see a lot of people, especially in the beginner divisions, uh, learning very quickly. I'll see spears and swords and double broadswords, even chain whips, and uh, people only have one year of, of experience. So today it seems like the martial arts are being taught very quickly. I mean we are America, we're the fast food, we want everything now society. Uh, and I remind each and every one of you that martial arts, if you really love it and are very serious, it takes commitment. You have to put in the time and you have to build a strong foundation. So I just wanted to show you one of the ways I do the single leg or some people call crane stance. That's how we call it for short. How to do it properly. That way you have good function and also so it looks good, especially if you uh, plan on competing in tournaments. Okay. One of the things to, to realize is when we stand on one leg, we start to lose our balance. So we have to what we, what we call counterbalance. So one thing that I like to do is look at the waist. If you have a sash, or today in the video, you can see I'm wearing uh, some of the kickboxing gear, I'm just wearing shorts, you can see my legs and also see the red waistline. When I lift up my knee, my natural reaction is to kind of lean backwards. And this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is push the hips back and lean the chest forward so that when I lift my knee up, I have better balance and now my waistline is level. Just like if I was hanging a pitcher or using a carpenter's level. So you wanna make sure that when you're looking in the mirror and you're learning and training, that your hips are straight and not crooked. Unless you're, of course, doing drunken form because hey, beginners are doing everything <laughs> in the tournaments these days. Another thing is to also pay attention to your feet. Uh, if you have your toes pointing forward, unless you are a performer in the circus, you don't, you don't want to have your knee like this. Remember, most martial arts, uh, in fact, yeah, well, today there are performance styles, but most martial arts are for fighting and have a purpose. In a single leg stance, you want to try to have the toes and heel kind of sideways a little bit. This gives you some better mobility, grip on the ground, and you can stop somebody. You know, the, the lifting of the knee is sometimes a knee strike or a defense or a way to kind of help to, to lean and protect as you strike. Especially, uh, I see a lot of people on the sword forms. They'll, they'll do a jump and then they land into the crane stance and they're bending this knee, okay? I don't bend this knee, I know some people do. I post, just like driving a post into the ground. Post, counterbalance, lift up the knee, the waist is straight. I can hold this position for a very long time, okay? Sometimes striking this direction as well. So by posting, by having the foot this way, it gives you better balance by counterbalancing. Now, crane or single leg stance is very related to the empty or the cat stance, okay? A lot of people do cat stance with the waist straight, and that's fine. These stances, you can move and do a lot of things, so try not to be so closed-minded. You can be open-minded, but when you're learning, the, the old school way was to displace the hips, to get the hips further away from the opponent, okay? But it's also interrelated because now I've displaced my hip so that when I raise up, I have good balance. So I hope some of these tips help. Keep staying uh, tuned to our YouTube page, Joki Kung Fu YouTube, our Facebook page for more ideas, tips, and I hope you guys uh, have great training and good luck in the tournaments, and hope hopefully some of this can help you.